Ever wondered how to create a Facebook account? In today's digital age, having a Facebook account can open up a world of connections from old friends to new interests. It's a platform where you can share your experiences, ideas and engage with the world around you. Whether it's for personal use or to promote your business, a Facebook account can be a powerful tool. And here's the good news, it's easier than you might think. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of how to create a Facebook account. First things first, open your preferred web browser. Now let's get you to the Facebook website. Simply type www.facebook.com into your address bar and hit enter. It's important to double check the URL. Make sure it's the official Facebook site to avoid any potential scams. Look for the Facebook logo and the secure HTTPS before the web address. That's your cue that you're in the right place. Once you're on the Facebook homepage, you're ready for the next step. Now, look for the Create New Account button. It's typically nestled within the Facebook homepage, often in a prominent location, inviting new users to join the community. This button is the gateway to your Facebook journey, the first step on a path that leads to connecting with friends, sharing stories, and discovering new interests. It's more than just a button. It's an invitation to a world of social interaction. After clicking Create New Account, a registration form will appear. This is where you'll need to provide some basic information. The registration form is straightforward, but let's go through it together to ensure everything is clear. First, you'll see two fields for your first and last name. Make sure to use your real name, as it will help your friends and family find you on Facebook. Next, input your mobile number or email address. This is crucial for account recovery, so ensure it's a number or email you have access to regularly. Now you'll need to create a password. Aim for a mix of letters, numbers and symbols to make it strong and hard to guess. Remember, this needn't be a password you use elsewhere, and it's always a good idea to keep it unique. Next up is your birthday. Facebook requires this to ensure you're old enough to have an account. Don't worry. You can choose who sees this information in your privacy settings later. Finally, you'll see options for gender. Facebook offers a variety of options to best represent your identity. Choose what feels right to you. Take a moment to review the information you've inputted. Remember, accuracy is key here. This information is not only for your profile, but also for account recovery purposes, should you ever need it. Once you've filled out all the information, click on the sign up button. And there you have it. You're one step closer to joining the Facebook community. You're almost there. Now it's time to confirm your email or phone number. This is a critical step to ensure the security of your account and to verify that it's really you. How do we go about this? Let's dive right in. If you have used your email to sign up, open a new tab and log into your email account. Look for a new email from Facebook. This email contains a code that you'll need to enter on Facebook to confirm your account. If you can't find the email, don't forget to check your spam folder. It might have ended up there. If you have used your phone number, check your messages. Facebook will have sent you a text message with a similar code. Now, go back to Facebook. You'll see a field asking for your confirmation code. Enter the code you received in your email or text message here. After entering your confirmation code, your Facebook account is officially created. So, you've successfully created a Facebook account. Let's recap. First, we navigated to Facebook's website. Then, we clicked on Create New Account. After that, we filled out the registration form with our personal details. The final step was to confirm our email or phone number. This four-step process is straightforward and user-friendly, perfect for beginners or those not tech-savvy. Congratulations! Now you're ready to start connecting with friends, family and interests on Facebook.